More leaks around GeForce RTX 3080 and the 3070 have been made public and very interesting details revealing both cards full specifications giving us a very good idea how powerful Nvidia's next generation uh, graphics cards could be and it turns out we're looking at much more power than we first anticipated and best of all these cards are coming out very soon guys. Rumors suggest Nvidia will be showing these new graphics cards at GTC in March but it seems like we're gonna have to wait until Computex in June before we see the first glimpse of GeForce and RTX 3000 series for gamers. But hey, if you're all new to this channel, my name is Robin. Welcome to Arbin Hardware. I hope you're doing fantastic. Now, before we look at the specifications, I want to show you guys some very interesting stuff. We need to understand a few things. Now, this is very technical stuff, so it can be a bit overwhelming and confusing. Therefore, I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. So with every new graphics card generation, we usually see several GPU processor chips with different specifications. So for example, for Maxwell, Nvidia had 5 chips in total, if I'm not uh, totally mistaken, where the top performer GM200 was used in the GTX 980 Ti. The 980 for example was fueled by GM204. For the 10 series, the 1080, Nvidia used the GP104. And lastly for Turing and the 2080, Nvidia used the TU104. And so we see there is a, a sort of a pattern here in the namings. Now for Ampere, it seems like Nvidia got six ships or six GPUs in total. Now historically, Nvidia has kept their top performing, you know, their beefiest GPU exclusive for data centers. But as we saw earlier, the GM200, for example, was used in the GTX 980 Ti. We don't know for sure, but the leaked GA100, for example, could be used in the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti, for example. Example, we're gonna have to wait and see. Now, as you can see, this includes the GA103 and the GA104. It turns out we are quite sure to which graphics cards these ships will be used for. We're gonna need a disclaimer. None of these GPUs have officially been confirmed, but we have seen evidence of the GA104 GPU popping up in the recent ECC listing, and this is what these GPU configurations were based on. Now, WCCF Tech is reporting that, like the current and the previous Pascal lineup, the GA102 and the GA104 GPU will make up the higher end market, with GA106 making up the mainstream and the GA107 targeting the entry level segment. What is interesting here is that this leak indicates that the green team might be deciding to base RTX, you know, the 70, the, the 3080 graphics card on the higher G104 ships rather than G106. We know that the Turing based GeForce RTX 27 makes the use of TU-106 ship and not the upper tier TU-104 ship like the RTX 2080. At the same time, the RTX 80 tier graphics card would not be used in the G-104 ship, but rather an even higher tier GPU known as the GA-103, which could allow for a wider bus and higher memory configuration alongside more CUDA cores. Now, in my previous video, we covered lots of details in regards to the manufacturing process, and in case you're interested, that in that information you find that video down below. It is believed that Nvidia is jumping from 12 nanometer for Turing down to 7 nanometer now and with this new smaller manufacturing process there are lots of improvements to be expected and we believe that next generation GeForce will be about 50% more powerful compared to a Turing at half the power consumption. Now the Ampere GPU wouldn't only improve the rasterization and shading performance but also deliver huge uh, uplift over Turing in ray tracing performance. Seeing more than 50% uplift in ray tracing seems very likely. Now since Turing was the first generation implementation of ray tracing on Nvidia's graphics cards, now Ampere will further optimize it. We're gonna see lots of more ray tracing cores and tensor cores at this time with RTX 3000. But yeah with that said, let's take a greater look at each graphics card. So we got specifications for two brand new GPUs guys. Let's start by having a look at GA103 and if you don't remember this is rumored to be the upcoming GeForce RTX 2080. So GA103, this one will pack 3840 Steam processors, we got 60 CMs and 10 to even 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 320 bit memory bus. 20 gigabytes of VRAM is uh, a lot. If Nvidia ends up giving the RTX 3080 20 gigabytes of VRAM, it's going to be a 
very expensive graphics card maybe a bit too expensive so my best guess here is that they're going to stay on 10 gig remember it is still 2 gigabytes more than current uh, 2080 and this will keep the pricing down and it will also line up better with the earlier rumors about nvidia dropping their prices on rtx 3000 series now, if you don't remember nvidia got a lot of backlash for the rtx 2000 and people thought it was too expensive and nvidia sold a lot fewer gpus than they first anticipated and with amd planning on dropping big navi fueled by rdna2 which also got support for hardware accelerated ray tracing nvidia definitely have to be a lot more aggressive with pricing this time anyway that is just my two cents and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. With that said, let's move on to GA104. And this is the rumored RTX 3070. This one's got 3072 Steam processors. We got 48 SMs. And we got between 8 or 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 256-bit memory bus. Now, Tweak Town is reporting that we should expect the consumer GA103 card to have 10 gigabytes of GDDR6, while the pro-level cards will pack 20 gigabyte they're also saying that nvidia could surprise gamers offering up to 20 gigabytes of vram on the geforce rtx 3080 but they very much doubt that now we can see some pictures of the uh, the whole gpu so to speak uh, wccf tech is reporting that based on the information that we got now we can definitely expect true 4k and 60 fps ray trace gaming from the updated architecture which is very good news in fact and that's something that a lot of gamers have been waiting for for such a long time now, if you want to learn more about rtx 3000 series i'll link up a video down below that goes even deeper than this there's obviously going to be more to this story i will keep you guys informed so you definitely want to stick around now watch either of these two videos for more content i will see you guys over there